morning. Okay, no one's here. I know some of you might think, isn't that an electrical toothbrush? Is he st st stupid? Uh, yeah, well, you know, not stupid maybe, but sometimes a bit lazy. It's been out of battery for a week and I'm not found the time to buy a battery, so. So, breakfast time. Giant. Avocado. Some toast. Coffee, coffee, coffee. I'm such a coffee junkie. <clears throat> All the addictions you can have in life, I guess. This one is one of the best. Some of this Mmm, nice. So this is the uh, last day in this uh, shoebox of room that I've been staying in. And uh, today, finally, the Mexicans uh, are done with the wall uh, that they built here. It, it wasn't a joke. They were really Mexican and they were really building a wall. So I'm moving out of here. Um, and going up these stairs and this will be my new room and uh, here I got some more space but this is gonna be good this looks great I think and especially waking up to this view with my own balcony uh, a French balcony but still a balcony realize that uh, Brooklyn is really really big um, when you're taking a taxi I I'm living in Williamsburg and I'm about to see my friend who's also living in Williamsburg but uh, is this the north we're going towards now the north of Williamsburg um, yeah I think so which is and I'm I, no. I live in the south of no actually uh, we're going to south yeah south yeah. okay so and I'm in the north yeah I'm, I'm, you know, you are in the which north. is the better one uh, <laughs> but actually you're ready I like it it should be here somewhere. Really? Yep, that's your destination, I think. Robertus. Okay, yeah, this is where I'm supposed to meet my friend. 261. Yeah, I think we're there. Wow. Okay, I need to have a serious talk with my friend. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> my area is nicer. So we are out walking, me and my friend Nicoletta. And uh, we're walking through the different areas of, of Brooklyn. And one thing that, uh, that strikes me is uh, I heard that it's 158 different nations um, represented. 159. Really? Because of us? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay, so maybe 160. Uh, hey, how are you? Okay. And then, um, yeah, so, but even though that you would think they would all blend in, and maybe they do, but we just passed an area with only Jewish people, for example, and there's other areas with just Mexicans and, and other nationalities. I think it's interesting. Why? Why would you want to just hang around with people of your own kind if you live in a city like New York? I guess, don't you want to blend in? If someone uh, watches this and has some idea who lives in New York, please tell me in the comments because I really, I really would like to know. That's enough country for one year <laughs> from now do you like country yes i love it it's like sweden cold and cozy okay yeah but i mean you meant the country i meant <laughs> country music jesus what kind of friends do i have no one understand, understands me not even my hey, friends it's your english english it's my english it's very very bad <laughs> it's really bad so we've had uh, some pre uh, pre show drinks I'm looking forward to this gig, which is in Manhattan. Thank you to my friend, Yemi Afulabi, a New York comic uh, who gave me this gig. Thank you so much for, uh, for doing this for me and I'll do my best to make you proud. Yeah, I don't have a good feeling. I don't doubt my jokes. I think my jokes are getting better and better. 
but because I need to spend so much time writing, I uh, have not had enough time to rehearse, which I need as much. I have uh, nothing to do. I'm not cancelling the gig. So I'm at Union Square, um, about to do tonight's gig, which is at nine o'clock. Okay, I found the place. Tonight's gig at... Whoa, not... No. I'm not in Stockholm now. I forgot. It's a little bit bigger here. Here we are. Sorry. Slow moving dolly shot of me not crying at my grandfather's funeral. I will pay to stop squeezing people's hands so hard. And that's what I thought. Right. Give it up for Martin Anderson! Thank you. Thank you. How are you guys doing? Thank you, thank you. Uh, this is a really interesting city uh, to be in if you're like me from Stockholm. Um, I had a guy in another club I was performing at. He came up to me and said, You that Swedish comic? I said, Yeah. He said, Yeah. I saw you last week. I said, Yeah, great. He said, No. <laughs> Pretty harsh, right? The guy, All right, nice to be here. You're filming some. Because you're a dildo. I said, What? Wow. I'm a what? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm a div? Ah, what is that? I'm a tourist. It's like a hot dad. Okay, so I've always thought, because people look at me like I'm some fucking alien. But so this, a div? Yeah. A dad you'd like to... Yeah. Friend. <laughs> okay, so I'm outside the club. Um, that was not brutal, but another gig that didn't go well at all. Uh, I'm not surprised though. Everyone went up and bombed. Um, so I'm in good company. Um, but yeah, it's not, I don't know, maybe it's, uh, maybe it's not the jokes that is the problem, maybe it's still uh, connecting to them. And today I was also heckled by a girl, or not heckled, she was saying that I was really hot, like something like a dilf or something, a daddy I'd like to fuck. So I kind of, because my English kind of sucked lately, I got distracted and I couldn't get back on track with what I wanted to do. So. Yeah, I actually think right now I'm not disappointed. Uh, of course, it was not a good gig, uh, but uh, I need to sit down and write for a couple of days and I think watch more comedy uh, before I go up on stage again. So I, I think I'll have a couple of days break uh, from doing shows until I feel a lot more com uh, comfortable with the jokes I'm rewriting every day now. Uh, that's about it.